Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. We should be moving now. Okay, hello, everybody. We should be live at the moment. This is Apostle Dr. Linda and Apostle Jeff from Covenant Life Church, and we want to thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, and uh, welcome to Friday Night Table Talk. We're going to ask Apostle Amen. Jeff to say the prayer for us. Amen. Father, this is a great time to be alive. It's a wonderful time to know the Lord and to know the Spirit of God. It's a wonderful time to know the Word of God. Lord, we ask your blessing and anointing on this message tonight. I ask you, Lord, to have a special touch for everyone listening, and that, Lord, you would have a special word for us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us tonight, and uh, we want to remind uh, all our members and covenant partners, uh, everybody who's listening, tomorrow is our prayer day. Uh, we're we're going to do 12 hours of prayer tomorrow, starting at 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And uh, members and covenant partner, Pastor Andrea, already sent out the prayer targets uh, and the time slots. Um, you all were signed up for 30-minute intervals, and we thank you very much for participating tomorrow. All right. And uh, so Apostle Jeff and I are going to start at 8 a.m., and the pastors are going to finish it up at, uh, I believe, from 7 to 8 tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. But uh, please stay in prayer tomorrow. We have lots of things to be praying about. Uh, if you didn't get a copy of the prayer targets, we welcome everybody to be praying tomorrow. Amen. Uh, you know, we have to pray for our government. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says first to lift up those in authority. So we need to lift up President Biden and the VP Harris and the entire uh, government. Okay. And we ask God's blessing upon them that they all uh, rule in righteousness. Amen. Amen. And then we, we want to pray for, uh, there's a, still a lot of violence in our country, racial injustice and so on. So we're praying about that. We're praying for the Lord to bring justice and heal our land. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we also need prayer for our for our new church. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate your prayers uh, for that and also for the leadership of Covenant Life Church. Amen. Mm -hmm. Apostle Jeff and I are still praying about the new expanded vision that the Lord has for us mm -hmm. for this year. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we need clarity by, by the Spirit. We feel that right now as an update for the building, uh, we it looks like we're in a 30 to 60 day window. Mm -hmm. We just passed a fire marshal inspection. Hallelujah. Praise God. That was like a miracle of God. Yeah. Amen. And uh, it went very smooth. We want to thank you all for praying. Amen. So that was the pre inspection. Uh, now we're applying for our permit so that we can go ahead and actually start church. Uh, we're expecting to get that permit sometime over the next uh, approximately three weeks. So probably about the middle of May, we'll start having. Uh, some uh, meetings with the sound team, video team, and so forth, because now we're going to be doing live streaming in the sanctuary. Right. And so then within a couple of weeks after that, uh, no later than the first Sunday in June, we should be up and running, mm -hmm. uh, if not sooner. Amen. So we're getting very close now. We appreciate your uh, prayers. Amen. Mm -hmm. And thank you for the donations. Yes. Amen. Uh, keep them coming. Amen. We, our rent is uh, almost five times what it used to be plus utilities, mm -hmm. but we're believing God that each month we're going to meet all of our expenses. Amen. Amen. So we want to thank you for your prayers, for your support. Amen. Mm -hmm. And once again, uh, we want to also thank you for praying for us too. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. With that, we're going to ask Apostle Jeff. He's going to bring forth the sermon tonight. Amen. Amen. Well, tonight I wanted to talk about the law of liberty and love, law, liberty and love. <clears throat> And I'll explain what it means. If you have your Bibles or your iPad or phone or whatever you use, Amen. turn to Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14. Amen. And we're going to start in the very first verse. We're going to look at the law of liberty. Receive one who is weak in the faith, but not to disputes over doubtful things now what's a doubtful here's the doubtful things for one believes he may eat all things but he who is weak eats only vegetables let not him who eats despise him who does not eat and let not him who does not eat judge him who eats for god has received him 
Amen. Who are you to judge another servant? To his own master, he stands or falls. Indeed, he will be made to stand, for God is able to make him stand. Now, notice this. Now, what I want to say right here, when it says, one who believes he made you all things, but he was weak, eats only vegetables. That's not talking about vegetarians, okay? That's talking about there were believers, and they were true believers, who were still trying to keep Jewish uh, dietary restrictions, all right? And they felt that they had to do that to please God. Now, Christians know, or they were Christians, but, you know, in the sense that they were saved, but other Christians know that whatever, you can eat anything, that Jesus pronounced all food clean. Amen. And, and so consequently, you know, if you feel like having some bacon, you can. Amen. All right. Uh, uh, the dog loves bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Every morning she pesters me for bacon. So, Amen. And we're all glad we can have some bacon. Amen. If you want to. Now, there's some believers who don't eat any kind of pork. What this is saying here is we're free. You're Amen. free to eat pork or not eat pork. I'm free to eat pork or not eat pork. It's Amen. up to us. Amen. Okay. Amen. It says, who are you to judge another's servant? But to his own master, he stands or falls. Indeed, he will be made to stand, for God is able to make him stand. And then Paul in verse 5 gives another example. <clears throat> one person esteems one day above another. Another esteems every day alike. Let each be fully convinced in his own mind. Again, we're going back to Jewish tradition, Jewish law. There was the Sabbath. There was, there was holidays, certain holidays that had to be kept. There were some that felt that they had to still keep Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And then there was others who didn't feel you had to anymore. Mm -hmm. Again, it's liberty. You can keep mm. Sabbath if you want to keep Sabbath, or you cannot keep the Sabbath if you choose not to keep the Sabbath, according to the law. Now, I wish there are certain denominations <laughs> that I would wish would read that verse, because they'll say, well, keeping the Sabbath is not necessary for salvation, but it is necessary for uh for us to, uh, you know, be pleasing in God's sight. And that, that's simply not, not the case. It's just, you know, it, looks, it says right here, one person esteems one day above another, another esteems every day alike. Let each be fully convinced in his own mind. He observes the day, observes it to the Lord, and he who does not observe the day to the Lord, he does not observe it. He who eats, eats to the Lord, for he gives God thanks. And he who does not eat to the Lord, he does not eat and gives God thanks. For none of us lives to himself and no one dies to himself. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is, there is freedom in, 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 our, in the faith. In the, there's freedom in, in the church. And we're not to impose our views of certain th issues on other people, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that we, we don't make judgments and decisions based on the scriptures. In other words, if, if somebody came to me and uh, wanted me to marry somebody that's different than what the scriptures teach, I can't do that, all right? We have the right to say sex outside of marriage is wrong. We have the right to say uh, uh, these things are, are not acceptable to God, and so the church stands opposed to it. But so when he's talking here about 
<clears throat> Receive one who is weak in the faith, but not to disputes over doubtful things. Well, there's, it's not doubtful that those things are <clears throat> forbidden. The New Testament and the Old are very clear on the subject. <clears throat> but whether you but there's freedom for other decisions. <clears throat> there was, <clears throat> under the law, a Jewish girl could only marry a Jewish man. And, and But now that Christ has come, all of a sudden, Jewish girls were marrying non-Jewish men. Mm -hmm. And the Jewish girls knew the scriptures better than the men did. <laughs> and so sometimes they were correcting their husband in public. And that's what Paul means when he says, you know, keep silent. You know, you don't contradict one another in, in public. Every once in a while, it doesn't happen very, all, very often, but Linda and I don't agree on a certain <laughs> topic. Well, I can't help it. She's wrong. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we don't talk about it in front of anybody except each other. Amen. When we get home. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And when you're in public, expect this is a good marriage tip, right? When you're in public, you want to show a united front. Amen. Amen. Don't air your dirty laundry in front of everybody else. Right. Amen. So See if at all possible. Yeah. Yeah. Paul was teaching how believers should react to other believers. You know, the source of division in the early church, you can see it in the book of Acts, was the necessity of keeping Jewish law rituals to be right with God. Mm -hmm. Old ways can be hard to let go of, especially religious practices. Okay? And I've seen some examples of that, I think. One of the worst in terms of tradition is the Pentecostals. You know, they're not too bad now, but in the early days, they were a bear, you know? And we came out of a Pentecostal tradition. Yeah, that's right. So, we, so we're not trying to right, beat no, any, anybody up. We saw it ourselves. I mean, we, we've been in certain Pentecostal churches where Linda had to wear a full-length dress and, uh, you know, we weren't supposed to read, uh, we supposed to wear jewelry and all that kind of thing. And in my early upbringing, that's, that's, those are the type of churches that yeah. uh, I, I was brought up in. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm and, just grateful now that uh, yeah. for us personally, yeah. and there are some churches that, that do that and that's fine. And there's some individual believers that that's do that fine. and that's fine. That's up to them. But Apostle Jeff is pointing out that we have freedom in Christ Jesus. Amen. That's it. So if you don't want to wear jewelry, fine, Amen. don't wear jewelry. Just right. don't call another sister who wears jewelry a Jezebel. Right. Amen. Okay. Because that has nothing to do whatever with being a Jezebel. Right. All right. Okay. So, you know, mm -hmm. that's another great point because everything with God is, is what's in your heart. Mm -hmm. It's not the outward appearance. No. I mean, we even see that in the Old Testament. Where, mm -hmm. where the Lord sent the prophet to anoint King David. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and he told him, don't look on the outward appearance. And so we, we see that even from the Old Testament, all the way through scripture. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And the Lord is always telling us, don't judge on the outward appearance. Right. Praise God. You judge by the heart. Mm -hmm. And it's the motive of the heart. Amen. Amen. Praise mm -hmm. God. Right. And if somebody keeps Sabbath because they want to and they mm -hmm. honor God with it, right? God receives it. Right. Okay. Amen. So James 125, mm -hmm. I'll just read it to you. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, mm -hmm. this one will be blessed in what he does. Mm -hmm. The perfect law of liberty. If we stay in this place of liberty, all right, you're going to be blessed in what you do. Okay, so 
you don't uh you have bacon for breakfast and you give god thanks amen. you're going to be blessed in what you do amen amen if you don't eat bacon for breakfast and you give god thanks you're going to be blessed in what you do it's called the law of liberty okay amen that's amen right. so that and i thank god for that yeah and the, and the main reason for that is that the the law was to the jews all right mm -hmm. and to be accepted by god you had to become a jew you had to be circumcised and yes judaism was open to non-born jews in other words mm -hmm. if a philistine decided to become worship the god of the jews he could do it he just had to obey the law mm -hmm. be circumcised mm -hmm. you know keep sabbath uh, you know all the various rules and regulations of the law but now the gospel that brings freedom has nothing to do with what you do it's what christ did amen and so because of that the gospel is available to everyone yeah christ god. every nation tribe tongue mm -hmm. is going to be in heaven because of jesus yes and so because of that mm -hmm. cultural distinctions cultural differences have mm -hmm. to you have to make uh, allowances for that mm -hmm. Okay, because certain the church in Africa is not like the church in America. Mm -hmm. The church in Asia is not like the church in Africa. The church in Europe is not like the church here because there's different customs, all right? And so we have to accept one another. The gospel is about unity in Christ, not unity in what rules you keep. All right, are you amen. with me here? Yep, amen. So mm -hmm. that's the good good news of the gospel. Yes. Is that the gospel is open to everyone. Amen. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. For some reason, I was talking to a lady, it's a long time ago now, but she she couldn't receive the church, receive salvation. She couldn't receive the Lord because she was born a certain way in a, a certain family. I'll tell you, I had the hardest time mm -hmm. talking to her and trying to, it was street evangelism. Mm -hmm. It was in, in Philadelphia here, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, finally, she she broke down and, and you know, received Jesus as her Lord. And oh, I told her, whatever God. you do, don't let go of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's hard. Amen. God is more concerned with developing Christ likeness in us than in judging others. Mm -hmm. You turn to Galatians chapter six, Galatians chapter six. This is the rule for judging. Okay. Uh -oh. Galatians six, verse three. Uh oh, here it comes. <laughs> you read my notes. Yeah, go ahead, honey. <laughs> yeah. Galatians six, verse three. Mm -hmm. For if anyone thinks himself to be something when he is nothing, yes. he deceives himself. Right. But let each one examine his own work. And then he'll have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Mm -hmm. For each one shall bear his own load. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. God will take down a ministry to spare the minister. Uh-oh. -uh. You are what's valuable to God, you. Mm -hmm. Not what you do, even if it's a ministry. All right. All right. Amen. Now think about that. Yeah. And we've seen that. We've mm -hmm. seen some pretty big name ministers. I'm thinking of one now that was a worldwide evangelist. And he's still going. He's still being covered in his ministry. And I, I'm glad for that but he's not he he suffered loss all right god took that down to save him think of that a worldwide ministry and in some cases of course see that's this is where uh, we have to be careful about judging because we don't know what's going on in anybody's life 
-hmm. and it could be an attack of the enemy also mm -hmm. you know and so there could be also a combination of things going on and so you got to be very careful right that's why we, we just got to pray for one another amen. amen and encourage one another daily exactly and not judge amen amen yeah so what are you saying here is when you start thinking that you're so special that you can pass judgment on others, you're deceiving yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of concern yeah. in the prophetic about deception. And I'm all for it. And I think even all over, Jeff, in yeah. all kinds of religion, because there's all kinds of cults out there. Yeah. Okay. You know, every everybody, there's a spirit of deception that's right. been unleashed on the world in this time frame, especially. And yeah. we have to be very careful. Yeah. So we have to be careful about beating up any one group because mm -hmm. uh, the devil is out to deceive anybody that he possibly can. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so it, let's just do what the word says. Right. Let every word be confirmed by right. two, two or three, three witnesses. witnesses. Yeah. And it should all come back. There, right. It should not contradict what the word of God says. Amen. Right. So, and so, so what it's saying is, but let each one examine his own work. Amen. Then he'll have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Right. All right. And you'll you'll bear your own load. Okay. You're, you're going to stand judgment for what you've done, not for what I've done. Amen. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. you're, so yeah. Yeah. So that again. Yeah. We want to be clear about it. We don't approve of sin or sinful things. Mm -hmm. Things that the scriptures are very clear. Uh, are wrong mm -hmm. or or sin the church stands up and says no that's wrong i'm not talking about that kind of judgment i mean somebody and this happens all the time uh especially among pastors sad to say you know some pastors speak in tongues and they look down on pastors that don't some pastors have huge churches and some pastors don't so the big ones look down on the little ones. The little ones get jealous because, you know, why did God give him all that? And I'm stuck here with this. Well, listen, you're not stuck with anything no. if you're just following God. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, That's right. You, you, and you don't know the pressure there is mm -hmm. involved in running something huge like that. Oh, man. And you the know. type of uh, temptation and that comes against you that's why the word says why you know walk in walk in your calling yeah amen just do what god has told you to do today. right and don't worry about right. what everybody else because has. there's grace for what you're doing amen not for what some other man or woman is doing mm -hmm. amen and so mm -hmm. and like apostle jeff says uh you don't know the pressure right that that these other people have or or the temptations uh or what they have to go through because believe me everybody mm -hmm. has a cross to bear That's right. i don't care who you are or what mm -hmm. what you look like and if you're a christian you mm -hmm. can bet the holy spirit is working on all of us Amen. to conform us to the image of christ right that's the amen. one thing he's doing to all no us. one is exempt amen, amen. so we're going to all go through things that's right amen so there's no point in being competitive or jealous Right. or upset what somebody else is doing right amen if you want something from the lord all you got to do is go to the lord mm. and say lord i would like to have that amen and then be willing to pay the price to get it mm -hmm. amen you know we had people ask us years ago what do you mean there, there's a price mm -hmm. well salvation is free right that's right and yes and the gifts of god are free mm -hmm. but there's going to be temptations that the enemy is going to bring to you Right. okay there's there's going to be challenges mm -hmm. that's the price that i'm talking about right okay because the higher you go up in the anointing the more challenges that you're going to get by the by the demonic okay because you're more of a target Amen. and when you're more of a target the enemy is going to try to come against you okay mm -hmm. and so that's what we we talk about the price that has to be paid right. and you got to be willing to stand the test right. and stand through the challenge and not throw in the towel Right. not give up but keep going right. and that's why we always preach don't be weary and well-doing amen. amen keep going for jesus amen whatever your calling is whatever mm -hmm. your thing is right. you keep going 
Exactly. Amen. Amen. So if you uh, if you're in Galatians chapter six, just drop back one chapter to Galatians five. And we're going to see the law of love or what love does. Here's what love does. Galatians 5, verse 6. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything, but faith working through love. Faith working through love. All right? Amen. So... It's not religious performance. You see that? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that was a big, you know, got to remember when mm -hmm. Paul was writing this, circumcision was a big thing. Yeah. It was a big dispute in the early church. In fact, Acts chapter 15, mm -hmm. uh, the Jerusalem Council, you can see where they dealt with this issue uh, about circumcision. So there was a lot of uh, dispute about circumcision. And Paul is saying here that it isn't whether you're circumcised or uncircumcised. That doesn't avail anything. Mm -hmm. But faith working through love. Amen. And I, I always point out that that word working means energeneo in Greek. Mm -hmm. Energized. This is where we get our word energized from. Power. Mm -hmm. Okay. But faith power through love there's power in your faith when we walk in love yeah thank you jeff i was just going to ask you to explain that because that's kind of a hard concept yes it is you know faith working through love can right. you say that again yeah well, for in christ jesus so it's talking to believers if you're in christ jesus mm -hmm. neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything Amen. but faith energized and working through love power faith power through love mm -hmm. amen when we love others amen. your faith is going to have power yes all right so if you're believing god for miracles or breakthroughs or mm -hmm. whatever it is mm -hmm. the love walking in the love of god letting the love of Christ flow through you mm -hmm. is going to empower your faith. Mm -hmm. And I, I know from experience that there was more power in, in my faith and in my faith words when I was doing loving things mm -hmm. for other people. And, and you yes. can be married to the one that you're doing something loving for. That's right. It still counts. Amen yeah okay <laughs> counts double yeah well i don't know about double but it counts <laughs> double credit <laughs> yeah i'll give you double credit then. oh thank you dear yeah so first john 4 8 he who does not love does not know god for god is love mm -hmm. all right it's hard for believers who claim they're these powerful uh, apostles and prophets and yet they they're they're so lacking in love i've met some that i wouldn't want to live next door to let alone sp spend eternity with and it's just believers in general right we all need to improve in love right amen and then john 4 16 mm -hmm. and we have known and believed the love that god has for us Mm -hmm. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. Amen. There are some places where the Bible gives a definition what God is. Our God is a consuming fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here it says our God is love. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's he has love so he doesn't release that consuming fire on us right? praise god so Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, so he who abides in love abides or lives in god or lives has living in god god living in you mm -hmm. abides in god and god in him Amen. god's love motivates his grace and mercy 
Mm -hmm. There's no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Amen. Because fear involves torment. But he who fears is not made perfect or complete in love. When you understand that God loves you, you're not afraid of judgment. Amen. Right. Okay. You're, you, you're, you're not afraid that something bad's going to happen to you because God's hot at you. And, and uh, on that point, when, you know, uh, it even, I don't know about other people, but it even helps me in my, my daily walk. Mm -hmm. You know, when the Lord says, you know, get this facility going, right? You know, mm -hmm. we know God loves us. Mm -hmm. So if he loves us, he's going to put us over one way or the other. Mm -hmm. He is with us. He's not going to abandon you. You know, when he tells mm -hmm. you to do something, he mm -hmm. loves you. He's with you. Mm -hmm. And it gives you the strength to keep going. Amen. It gives you the, mm -hmm. the determination, the drive. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's why it really is important that we understand that God loves us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Plus, you know, uh, we all have experience with loved ones dying yes. and so forth. And mm -hmm. it's important to know that when God takes us home, we're coming into the, we're going into the loving arms of a, of a godly, of, of, of the Father God. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he absolutely loves us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. So this, you know, this concept, perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment. Now, some think and, other, and some even teach that if you don't love everybody, you're going to be tormented. First of all, I don't know everybody. <laughs> and I don't. I wish I did, but I don't love everybody. We're working on it. We're working on Amen. it is right, but I'm not there yet. Amen. <laughs> so we're this trying. Is, this is talking <laughs> about the fear of rejection from God, or or maybe he won't come through for me. That's what it's talking about. Amen. Knowing that God is love and that he loves you can free your heart. During times of great sorrow and stress. Yes. When you know God didn't do that to you. That's right. All mm -hmm. right. I right. know when I had that heart mm -hmm. attack, God didn't do that to me. Amen. Okay. Amen. Uh, it's just a very liberating uh, when you have the knowledge mm -hmm. of how much God loves you. And in fact, if it weren't for the love of God, we wouldn't even be alive. Right. You know, because if the devil had his way, he would snuff us all out. Mm -hmm. He'd kill us all. But because God loves us right. and has mercy and grace on us, right. amen, he gives us strength to keep going and even heals us. Mm -hmm. amen. So if God loves us, there's nothing to fear. That's right. Amen. And, and that, you know, here again, that's something we all have to grow in. All right, it's uh, there's, you know, you get a, a bad report from a doctor, you know, like when I had that uh, colon cancer, you know, when that doctor said, yes, it's cancer, I'm, I'm just going to tell you flat out, it scared the wits out of me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought I was going to die. Well, I didn't, praise God. Amen. And in fact, the Lord healed them. Amen. Yeah. They had to do some chopping out, but there's no more cancer. That's right. Praise, Praise God. God. So, Amen. so that's what it, it, it means. Mm -hmm. We don't have to fear the loss of God's approval, even on judgment day. Mm -hmm. And and when when you die, there's a judgment. It's pointing out to man wants to die and then the judgment. Mm -hmm. You die in the natural one time. Amen. And then there's judgment. What's the judgment? The saved are judged to go to heaven and the unsaved are judged to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Now there'll be more particular judgment after that. That's the very first judgment you run into. You know, they used to have a credit card that said, you know, don't leave home without it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, don't leave, don't leave earth without Jesus. That's right. You know, don't leave without him. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's right, honey.
We don't have to fear the loss of God's approval. Mm -hmm. First John 4.10 in the New Living Translation. Mm -hmm. This is real love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Now think about that. Mm -hmm. You know, well, you can't prove God loves you. I sure can. You just got to point to the cross. What is more loving than giving your only son? Mm -hmm. The best thing you have, the thing you love the most. Mm -hmm. You give up for me when I didn't even know you. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to know you. Yeah. That's love, man. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Yeah. We don't have to be afraid of trying new things. And if you're moving in love, you're moving in God. I'll tell you that when you're trying to figure out what the will of God is, do the most loving thing you can think of to do, and you won't miss God very often or by very much. Yeah, that's a great tip. Because mm -hmm. that's his very nature. Right. And mm -hmm. even if you miss, he'll pick you up and put you right back on path right. real quick. Mm -hmm. And it's because you were trying to do the right thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right? Amen. Amen. Very good, honey. <clears throat> So we have a definition for what is love. Mm -hmm. It's found in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Right. And that you could say is the characteristic of God's love. Mm -hmm. This is what love is. Yes. And, and all of us are trying mm -hmm. through the power of the Holy Spirit in prayer to increase this kind of love, all right? So let's let's just take a look at it. Love, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Love suffers long and is kind. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you, I've had to suffer long, <laughs> but I wasn't always kind about it. <laughs> you know? If you've got to wait for something, you've got to wait. That's it. Yeah. Amen. So <laughs> love suffers long. In other words, it puts up with mm -hmm. other people and other things, and it's patient about it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind why it does it. Now, there's the real trick. Okay? Being kind while you do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love does not envy. Mm -hmm. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up. It does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, ah, does not rejoice in inequity, but does not behave, does not rejoice in inequity, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Mm -hmm. Love never fails. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some places where this particular type of love is going to come in especially meaningful and helpful for you. All right. It does not parade itself, is not puffed up, humility. It does not behave rudely. You know, I, I don't know if I want to sound like an old buddy dud or not. <laughs> well, yeah, I do. <laughs> when we were growing up, we were taught manners. Our parents taught manners. You say, yes, please. No, thank you. You hold the door for somebody. You hold the chair for a lady, you know? And this is a place that comes in real handy in marriage. It's, you don't have to be rude. You, are you, you don't have to be rude. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can say, thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. You can say no, thank you. And excuse me. Excuse sorry. me. And, and sorry. And amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, so love does not behave rudely. Here's a big one. Love does not seek its own. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. 
Yeah. Everybody's that, seeking their own. That gets at the heart of selfishness. Ooh. Amen. The, the sinful heart is selfish. Yeah. It's always thinking about what's good for me. Uh, that's right. You know, we need to always be thinking about what's good for the other person. Amen. Yeah. And that's a form of giving. Given it shall be given. Right. Love does not seek its own, is not provoked. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. There's a lot of offense going on now. Yes. People are and easily they, offended. And, P, and that's because people's feelings are, are hurt. They, mm -hmm. And rightfully so in a lot of places. And if that's the case, we can also bind the spirit of, of offense. Right. Mm -hmm. And ask the Lord to heal that person. Mm -hmm. And you know, if we've caused it, then we need to make it right for that person. Amen. That's just part of having good manners. Mm -hmm. It's not provoked. Thinks no evil. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how quickly people start to think evil of somebody else. Yes. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. And the truth of the matter is sometimes there's something to it. There's an awful lot of evil out there. Amen. But my first reaction is to think evil of somebody. Mm hmm you know, or when somebody comes in, oh, did you hear what Brother John did? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't, and I don't want to. Amen. That's gossip. Yeah. So, Amen. Thinks so, does not rejoice in inequity, but rejoices in the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, this is how we can Amen. tell we're in the, the last days here. You know, the love of Christ said, the love of many would grow cold. So love, you know, does not rejoice in inequity, but rejoices in the truth. Today, they're celebrating all kinds of inequity, very deep, wrong sins. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're even celebrating and rejoicing in. But people who love God or have the love of God don't rejoice in that. They rejoice in the truth. They enjoy. Amen. Amen. They rejoice in this. They rejoice right. in Christ. They Amen. enjoy rejoice in this book. Amen. They rejoice in each other. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. They rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things. Believes all things. Hopes all things endures all things mm -hmm. love never fails amen more excellent way in order for us to hear his god's voice is we must travel through the clutter in our hearts and our unrenewed minds we need to memorize first corinthians 13 12, 13 4 through 8 okay mm -hmm. i'm telling you memorize it so that you can quote it oh man i don't want to do all that <laughs> well then walk around powerless with an unenergized unenergized faith so I'll tell you when you memorize that you'd be amazed how many times you'll hear something like love bears all things amen how many times on the job did i hear somebody does not seek its own amen yeah amen and this is how yeah. and I don't know if I can hear God's voice. Listen, if you're struggling with the believing that you hear God and you hear God's voice, mm -hmm. memorize these four, first Corinthians 13, four through eight. Memorize it. You can yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. It's not that hard. Right. Memorize it. Commit it to memory. Mm -hmm. Dedicate it to the Lord. Renewed mind, your mind is now renewed with it. Amen. Because you engrafted the word in there. Yes. And now the Holy Spirit has something to work with. So instead of flying off the handle at the old man and not and carrying on, you'll hear you'll hear it in there. Bears all things. Yeah. Amen. Believes all things. Mm -hmm. Hopes all things. Endures all things. Right. It will never fail. Amen. That's the one thing God says will never fail. Is that something? Praise that's God. Incredible. Praise oh, God. That's amazing. Praise God. Amen. 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 
Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud. Patient mm -hmm. and kind. Give people a chance to be themselves, to grow and make mistakes, Lee. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're a leader. Yeah. Because the people on, that you're leading are going to make mistakes. All right? Even you are. Even you are. <laughs> we are too. Amen. Amen. And so be patient and kind. Amen. Amen. Kind. Love has the right attitude towards others. Don't parade yourself. Don't be arrogant. Now, I, you know, I see it in base, baseball games. You know, after the game, they interview certain players and, and things like that. Sometimes you'll come across a, prayer, a, a player who says, oh, no, man, I'm the greatest. Oh, brother. And I'm thinking to myself, he's going to lose the next game. <laughs> and they do. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Not being rude goes a long way in marriage and other people. Amen. Self-seeking is always thinking about you. Not considering the problems and obstacles the other person is going through. Amen. Thinks no evil. It would be really good not to think evil. Does not automatically think the worst of others. It doesn't keep a record of offense. Love energizes the proper spirit with the proper motive. You know, Jesus washed the disciples' feet. And this is just before he's getting to go to the cross. Wow. You know, you'd say to yourself, isn't that enough? Yeah. Wouldn't, mm -hmm. you, wouldn't you think like that's enough? He showed, he gave them an, an example. Plus, they were probably stinky feet. Well, I don't know anybody who has good smelling feet. Well, you do. <laughs> but anyway oh boy yeah so anyway yeah that was really an act of love and humility. others people's feet yes if i love people enough to wash mm -hmm. their feet the lowest mm -hmm. task people yes. receive me and receive the jesus and the father i represent amen right wash their feet amen i think it's uh mm -hmm. Incredible that the Lord did that. You see, in yeah. the Middle East, people walked around with uh, flip flops like we have today. Yeah. There were sandals. Yeah. And the, all the roads were dirt roads. And so when you came into somebody's house, mm -hmm. uh, the first thing you needed to do was wash your feet. Mm -hmm. And if you were a person of some substance and some means, mm -hmm. you had a servant right. who would wash your house guest's feet. Mm -hmm. And it was always the mm -hmm. lowest servant because that was considered the lowest task. You know, you knew you were promoted when you didn't have to wash feet anymore. Yeah. But Jesus did the lowest thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To show what love yeah. does. Yeah. People will receive you and will receive the message of the gospel mm -hmm. if we're willing mm -hmm. to serve. Amen. You know, I have to say, the lost don't need the wrathful God most of the church proclaims. First of all, the lost don't care whether a church approves or not. Mm -hmm. Second of all, they already know they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. All right, they know. You know, I haven't met a sinner yet that didn't know it. Well, yeah, there's been some that think they're the greatest, you know. That's just pride. Yeah. But most of the time, most people know they're sinners. And when you're lost, when I was lost, I knew I was a sinner. I didn't care. I didn't know there was any consequence. Amen. Well, and, and then, honey, you also have those who feel like God could never for, forgive them. Yeah. You know, that they've done something so bad. Oh, in their, there's a their lot of that. that it just and, makes and, you my know, heart cry. There's so much. Um, when I know how willing God is to forgive them. There's still a lot of preaching yeah. about how God wants to slam dunk everybody, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so we, we need to be out telling people that Jesus loves them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. It's the word of reconciliation. Be mm -hmm. reconciled to God. Amen. We're ambassadors for the kingdom. Yes. 
then our message is be reconciled to God. Right, right. It's not our job to correct mm -hmm. him or judge him. Just get him saved. Preach Jesus that Jesus Amen. loves him and get him saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. All right. Very good, hon. Yeah. So how to energize your faith that receives the grace. Mm -hmm. For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Mm -hmm. Remember, we said the law of liberty. Yes. You've been called to liberty. Mm -hmm. Only do not use your liberty as an opportunity for the flesh. Right. Mm -hmm. But through love, serve one another. For all the laws fulfilled in one word, even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. So all those folks that are out there with rules and regulations and trying to make everybody <coughs> conform to their their way mm -hmm. and their their rules, mm -hmm. it says right. that we should love one another. Amen. For all the laws kept by loving you, by loving others. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. And we've already said, for in Christ Jesus. Neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything Amen. but faith working through love. Amen. God has done all he's going to do to demonstrate his love. But God mm -hmm. demonstrates his own love towards us. Mm -hmm. And that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. Praise God. The love of God is one of the hardest things mm -hmm. to teach. Because most people think they have heard it, or they think they already have it. Most mm -hmm. people's understandings of God love, God's love is superficial or intellectual. Mm -hmm. Let something go wrong, and then right away, God, why did you let this happen to me? Mm -hmm. Living in God's love prevents burnout, depression is impossible mm -hmm. when you know how much God loves you. Amen. So we'll stop Amen. there for tonight. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this message. Yes, God. We seal that word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Okay. We're going to shift to the prophetic, and Apostle Jeff's going to help me out tonight. Mm -hmm. Amen. I think M Mitzi's going to help here too. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> you can't see her, but yeah, she, she's been on our lap all she, night. She's sitting on. She's sitting on Linda's lap. Yeah. And poking my arm with her nose. <laughs> yes, she wants some she's, scratches. She's fulfilling her title, which is lap dog. Yes. She's got to be on somebody's lap. <laughs> yes, and she walks in love too. <laughs> yes, she really does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's true. She's a good example. Amen. She's always glad to see you. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, seriously, the uh, Lord told us that this dog was uh, an example of his love for us. Mm -hmm. And we've really watched her. And mm -hmm. uh, she's always loving. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we can scold her. She'll droop her tail. But she'll come right back and wag her tail and want to be with us. And, mm -hmm. you know, and that's how the Father God is. You know, mm -hmm. he loves us mm -hmm. so much right that even though we get grumpy and yeah. nasty and we we do stupid things and we say stupid things mm -hmm. god still loves us amen. amen and and he still wags his tail when when he sees us yes. <laughs> yes. amen all right so the first word tonight honey is for carol kelly amen and on uh, just a second let, let me get it rolling all right carol get your get your re recorder on father we just had we just stir ourselves up right now in the prophetic apostolic in Jesus' name, and we thank you, Lord, for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, Carol, I just believe the Lord is saying that uh, you've come through some hard and difficult times. There's been uh, those times when you've really wondered if God loves you. And the Lord is here tonight with this message to tell you how much he loves you. And he also wants you to start seeking him because he wants to cast you a vision mm -hmm. for you, a new purpose. Mm -hmm. He wants to bring that lonely sadness that you've been experiencing and bring you into the fullness of the spirit. Amen. In Praise Jesus' God. name. Amen. Yes, for the Lord says that there is a uh, new vision yet even for you this year, mm -hmm. uh, says the Lord. 
and the Lord says that I'm even expanding uh, your ministry tent pegs in this season. And uh, I just see a group of people around you that you're reaching out to. And the Lord says he's stirring you up even greater in the prophetic apostolic where you're giving words out. So, Father, we just release an anointing uh, to Miss Carol right now. Yes. In Jesus' name, to stir her up even more in the prophetic yes. Yes. apostolic. And, Father, thank you for expanding I, your I, ministry. I just hear the Lord say, dare to believe. Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name. And we Jesus seal that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Next word is for Rachel Morton. Okay, Go ahead. Start first here. Okay, so Father, we just thank you for Rachel. Father, I thank you for stirring her up in, in the pro prophetic. Uh, Father, I thank you, Lord, that, uh, Lord, she's called as, as a prophetess. And the Lord says, uh, daughter, don't be intimidated, but I'm teaching you, uh, says God. And I'm, I'm encouraging you along in this season, says the Lord. And the Lord says that you've seen... Uh, many things that you've been upset about, even on the world scene. And the Lord says that I am a God of justice mm -hmm. and I am bringing things to light so that they can be dealt with, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says the enemy has tried to hide many things, many sinful things behind the scenes for a long time. But the Lord says, this is the time that I'm bringing things to light so that they can be dealt with. And so mm -hmm. the Lord says, be encouraged this day, mm -hmm. be encouraged by the word of the Lord. Yes. And the Lord says, even as you've seen things that have afflicted you personally and your family members, God says, take my word and speak into these situations. Mm -hmm. For the Lord says that I am a God that will bring a reversal and I will bring healing and I will bring justice and I will do the right thing. But the Lord says, I'm relying on you to pray it in and believe me for it, says mm -hmm. God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And Lord, uh, Rachel, I just believe the Lord is telling me that he wants to set you free from being so concerned about the opinions of others. Don't let other people intimidate you. Don't let other people's opinions guide you. But let the spirit of the Lord guide you. There, there is something, uh, the Lord's going to show you something that you'll think that's crazy. I can't do that. And well, you know, if you ask somebody, they'll probably, oh, no, you're crazy. You can't do that. I can't remember the number of times somebody told me I was crazy. I couldn't do something. And God somehow or other got it done. So, Father, I just pray yes. for Rachel right now that yes. she be set free from the fear of man. And, and set free from the box other people have put her in. Yes. They said you can stay in this box, and, but nowhere else. Mm -hmm. Lord, expand her tent pegs. Show the devil and show these people who she is in you. In Jesus' name, amen. And we seal that right now in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Okay, this next word is for Virginia Richard. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Virginia, I believe God is going to break through for you this year. This is us between now. Uh, we've already had Passover, uh, you know, between Passover and Pentecost. God wants to, it, I just see like a, a plan, a blueprint plan. Now, God wants you to expand what you're believing him for. Mm -hmm. That you know how to have faith. You know how to have uh, steadfastness. Yeah. And God is saying, let him shape your future. Let him shape your opinion of yourself. Let him shape. I, Father, in Jesus' name, I just take authority over any type of wounding yes. from offense, right. from any type of... of uh, uh, like it was like a character assassination or just a constant barrage of how insignificant you are or just slamming you and putting you down. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for setting her free tonight, yes, now, right now, from all this rejection and yes. all this hurt and pain. Yes. Father, heal her heart, expand her vision. Give her new tent pegs. Mm -hmm. Father, she's not going to live in a tent. She's going to live at a yes. large place. 
Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And Father, we just stir her up even in the apostolic prophetic yes. right now in Jesus' name. And the Lord says, daughter, I've given you an accurate word. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says, you're getting it right. Sometimes you think you don't get the right word, but the Lord says you do. You're getting an accurate word. So step out in faith and give those words as you believe that you're getting them. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says, I'm going to, I'm going to show you my grace and my power, even as you do that. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says that your ministry tent pegs are expanding in this season. And so the Lord says, go forth in a new level of faith and confidence, says the Lord, for I'm with you and I love you. And the Lord says, you're right on path. So Father, we just seal that word now, right now, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Oh, and uh, Vir Virginia, I'm just sensing uh, you also still need some healing. Mm -hmm. I don't see it on the list here, but uh, I'm just sensing. Uh, so if you need a healing for a certain thing, please chat it in. Amen. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we just lift up Virginia right now and we just release a healing anointing upon her right now in Jesus name. And not only on the inside, but also physical healing in Jesus name. Amen. And we seal that in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Okay. This next word is for Alice King. You start for Alice you. King. Amen. Father, I just thank you for Miss Alice. Amen. And, and the Lord says, daughter, you've been faithful in everything that I've asked you to do. And in fact, you've gone above and beyond even what the Lord has even asked you to even do. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so I, I, the Lord says tonight, I'm going to break that spirit of rejection. Amen. And, and the Lord says, I'm going to heal you from that, those betrayals of days gone by. So we bind that spirit of rejection right now mm -hmm. and that and that betrayal uh, right now. I break the power of it in the name of Jesus. And uh, Father, we also lose a healing anointing upon her right now uh, in Jesus' name uh, for a healing of her sciatic nerve, uh, lower back and feet. And, and see how she's, she's, she's got it here. Uh, mm -hmm. And so we just we just release healing yes. uh, for the sciatic nerve, lower back and feet right now. Sciatic and yes. and restoration. So Lord, I just come against this this compressed yeah. vertebrae. Yes. This this ruptured disc. Mm -hmm. We command that it be healed mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Yes. We give you glory, Lord. And Lord, we release restoration uh, in family relationships right now mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. And Alice, I'm just hearing the Lord say, "Don't be afraid." To speak to your family, just speak to them with words of love, just like you were hearing tonight. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just implement 1 Corinthians 13. And God says he's going to bring them around again. Amen. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you right now mm -hmm. for that. In Jesus' name, we seal the word. In Jesus' name. Okay, Amen. Amen. Okay, honey, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. And this uh, this is for uh, Sophia Chambers. Amen. Uh, prayer request, I believe. Uh, yes. Father, we just lift up Sophia right now uh, in, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we uh, we just come against a spirit of debt right now in Jesus' name. And we just command even, Lord, that debt's going to come down and be paid off right now. Supernatural finances coming into Miss Sophia right now in Jesus' name. And Father, Lord, the word says you can make a way where there's no other way. And so, Father, we just give you praise for it and we thank you for it. Yes, God, that there's going to be a new way for her in Jesus' name. Uh, for Tasia, Father, we just pray comfort and peace. Uh, Father, even in the, in the home, even a greater unity, I just come against division and strife and anything that the enemy would try to stir up in their home and in their family relationships. And we break the power of it right now in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you for new wisdom and strategy, even in, in the family unit right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Okay. All right. So I'm seeing some more prayer requests. I'm, I'm tracking uh, Kavina. I see it on my screen here. I see some of them. Let me see. For Amanda. Uh, let's see. Prayer for Larry Cunningham healing. Okay. All righty, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just lift up Larry Cunningham right now in Jesus' name. We just release a healing upon him right now. We come against these blood clots in Jesus' name. 
And Father, I, I just thank you right now. We just command those clots to dissolve right now and the blood to flow freely through the arteries right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We release healing right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Okay, are there any other prayer requests? Yeah, let's see. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, all right. So anybody, amen. Uh, anybody wanting the Baptist the Holy Spirit tonight? Uh, they want to speak in tongues? Amen. Please raise your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just stir them up in the prophetic apostolic right now. Father, we release an anointing for the baptism of the Holy Spirit right now. Father, in Jesus' name, just cause them to speak in tongues. Anybody who wants it, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, if there's anybody out there tonight that say, Apostle Lynn, I'm not sure that I know Jesus. We want to make sure that you're saved tonight. Amen. Just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and forgive me my sins. I want to live for you from this moment on, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, and uh, Miss Vir Virginia, okay, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just lift her up right now, in Jesus' name, and Father, we release healing upon her right now, in the name of Jesus, both uh, even um, you know, for emotional healing, in Jesus' name, for the people, Lord, that, that have spoken ill of her, they've, um, They've gossiped about you. They backstabbed you. I just break the power of all of that stuff right now. We break any word curses over you right now in Jesus' name. And Father, we just command healing right now, even upon our physical body in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if anybody else has any feet problems, amen, I'm getting feet again. Amen. Anybody with aches and pains uh, in their feet or anything going on with their feet, Father, in the name of Jesus, I just lift up all those having foot problems, and we just command a healing right now to manifest in the feet, in Jesus' name. Be healed, for the word of God says, I am the Lord that healeth thee, amen, and so Father, we thank you for healing right now, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Okay, Carol says, yeah, go. Okay, Father, we, we just come against that gout right now. In Jesus' name, I break the power of it. Uh, in the name of Jesus, and I command it out. And I just command a healing to manifest right now in our whole body even. In the name of Jesus. And I come against any type of depression or oppression that would try to come against your mind. We break the power of that right now. In Jesus' name. And Father, any... Um, Chemistry problems in the in the body, uh, low levels of serotonin. Father, we just command uh, even the normal levels to come into being right now. And the amygdala to be whole in Jesus' name, be healed. I come against any type of fatigue in anybody's body right now. And I break the power of it. And I command uh, energy to arise, uh, normal nu nutrition in the body. Anybody with, with anemia out there tonight? Father, in Jesus' name, we just come against that anemic problem and we break the power of it right now and we command healing right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. Praise God. Father, we seal that word right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, we want to remind you, uh, amen, as the Lord is leading you to please uh, donate. Uh, to the church. We appreciate it very much. Just go to our website, www.covenant-life-church.org. And there's a donate button in the upper right-hand corner. Please hit that donate button. Amen. And we appreciate any donation that you can send in. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And we just appreciate all those that have already donated greatly. Amen. We appreciate and we love you so much. Amen. We're within a very short window now of getting started in the church. We're so excited. Praise God. Please pray us through. Uh, we're applying for our occupancy permit on Monday. It'll take two, three weeks. Please pray us through. Amen. Praise God. All right. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, if you have any other prayer requests, remember, you can always send them in. 
Okay. And praise God. We, we pray for people during the week too. And uh, okay. This is Friday night. Tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We're going to be doing our 12 hours of prayer. Pastor Andrea did a great job. Thank you all those who signed up. She's got a list out there. So we all know our times of prayer tomorrow. And uh, we sent out uh, prayer targets. Amen. We want you to focus on those prayer targets so that all of us are praying the same thing for 12 hours tomorrow. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And we just appreciate you so much. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We believe God for great things. And then, um, pardon me, on the 24th of April is the women's group. And I believe Pastor Andrea put out that information too. Uh, that's at 11 a.m. And uh, that's going to be by Zoom on April 24th, Saturday. Okay, we're going to have a fun time. Okay, and if you didn't get the Zoom link, uh, just go, go ahead and type in your email address and we'll send it out to you. Okay, and if you're not on a mailing list, just type in your email address and we'll put you on the mailing list. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're so excited. Praise God. We're coming out of this COVID time. Keep praying. Amen. If you haven't gotten a shot, we want to encourage you tonight. Jeff got Moderna. I got Pfizer. Pastor, uh, excuse me, Prophet Shayla just got M Moderna today. The pastor's got uh, Pfizer. Uh, Elder has Pfizer. Amen. We all got a word from the, from the Lord that the Pfizer and the Moderna are safe. Okay. So praise God. We just want to encourage you tonight. Amen. I know there's been a lot of bad press out there about this stuff. That's just the devil not wanting you to be healthy. Okay. So we want to encourage you tonight. Okay. We, all we do is pray against any type of reaction and God is going to take care of it. Okay. But the Lord is the one that released the revelation for these vaccinations so that we can be healthy. Amen. This is the route that he's choosing. All right. Amen. So please um, don't think it evil. This is a blessing from God. Amen. All right. Um, Andrea says uh, information on the women's group will be emailed to everybody on Saturday. Okay. So it's on the way. All right. And uh, the pastor's just got a house. So Pastor Andrea and Sean, they've been very busy packing. Amen. We're just praising God for their house. It was a miracle. This was another miracle house. Amen. So praise God. Pray them through because we all know what it is to have to pack up and, and move. Amen. So we've kept Pastor Andrea has been very busy. All right. Pastor Sean has been checking the building for me. And uh, praise God. He's been a great help. They both are just tremendous help. All the all the staff is a tremendous help. Miss Kavina, Armani, Yvette. Amen. Elder, Prophet Shayla. Amen. And all of you for praying us through. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We're just so grateful to everybody helping. Amen. Okay. Unless there's any alibi fires, uh, we're going to close it up. Uh, let me see. Sunday, Prophet Shayla will be doing her thing at one o'clock in the afternoon as usual. And uh, we'll be on Facebook at 2.30 in the afternoon. Amen. Yes, thank you, Kavina, for working chat. All right, I we we really appreciate that. Um, amen. You know, uh, when when uh, I don't know about y'all, but when Jeff and I are, are preaching, we're trying to hear from God, so it's kind of hard to do the chat at the same time. So I appreciate Andrea and Kavina, Armani, and the whole team helping us with that. Amen. Praise God. So it's just been a blessing. Amen. Everybody, it's a team event. Amen. It's always team. Praise God. And we just praise God for all of you. Amen. We love you very much. Um, okay. I didn't see that last comment there, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, please stay in prayer for us. Alrighty. So Monday is the discipleship class at 730. Tuesday prayer tabernacle with Pastor Andrea at 730. Amen. And then uh, we come into the weekend. Amen. All right, everybody. Unless there's anything else, we appreciate. We love you much. We thank you for tuning in tonight. Amen. So, Father, we just come before you right now. We just thank you, Father, for the team. 
And thank you, Lord, for everybody who participates all the time, all their faithfulness, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. We thank you, Father. We thank you for the facility. Oh, man, I was just dancing in, in, in the aisle virtually <laughs> when we passed the fire marshal. Praise God. Lord, help us get that permit now. Amen. In Jesus' name, help the pastors get moved in. Amen to their new thing. Father, we thank you for all the people getting shots. Lord, you kept us healthy. You kept us from the COVID. Father, we give you praise and honor and glory. In Jesus' name, we appreciate you so much. Oh, God, you've been so good to us. Father, we come against every spirit of debt, every devouring spirit that is trying to come against the finances of your people and try to devour them in various ways. And we break that assignment right now in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of witchcraft. We bind witchcraft assignments right now, voodoo, shamanism. We break it right now in the name of Jesus. And we plead the blood of Jesus over all those that are affiliated with Covenant Life Church. We take authority by the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you tonight. And we bless all the people who have tuned in tonight. In Jesus' name, bless every family. Lord, stir us all up in the prophetic apostolic. In Jesus' name. Lord, I just thank you for there's a new hope and a new vision for this season. And we thank you, Lord, for it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everybody. Amen. We thank you very much for tuning in tonight. Amen. And uh, praise God. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, or I should say, please be in prayer tomorrow. And we'll see you back on Sunday. Love you all very much. Uh, on behalf of Apostle Jeff and I, have a great weekend. Good, good night.